Turning now to Springfield, where a video of a potentially rabid raccoon being run over at the city's fire department headquarters continues to grab attention on social media, and some residents are concerned. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey is getting us answers. That's some sick stuff right there. For whatever reason, he had an audience and he just wanted to show off like a bully, like a high school bully. Cheryl Coakley Rivera speaking with Western Mass News after posting this video on Facebook, showing Fire Commissioner B.J. Calvi running over a potentially rabid raccoon on the lawn of the fire department's headquarters on February 21st. One caller stated that the raccoon looks sick. Springfield Fire Captain Drew Pamonte tells Western Mass News dispatch had received multiple calls about the animal that morning and in the previous days. The animal was found around the Worthington Street Station around 11 a.m. last Wednesday. And went down and uh, assessed the situation. And uh, he determined by watching it, walking circles and foaming at the mouth that it was rabid. After the wildlife trapper couldn't provide an estimated time of arrival, Pamonte says Calvi took matters into his own hands, deeming the situation a public safety threat, running over the animal with an SUV multiple times. We have a high traffic area around here. There's six, eight apartment blocks. To uh, pedestrian traffic at the shelter and he felt due to the best interest of public safety that the animal needed to be dispatched. We were sent these videos of the animal, which appears to be limping and dragging itself on the ground. Coakley Rivera doesn't believe the story. She claims the animal was believed to be blind, not rabid, and would appear around the department regularly to be fed. There was no public safety threat. We had police officers right there. They didn't perceive it. They didn't shoot it. In order for someone to do that, run over a harmless helpless baby like raccoon that is blind and he knows it's blind he knows that it's been there before he knows it's not a threat and he just took it upon himself to um just run it over and over again before the decision was made to run the raccoon over city health and human services commissioner helen colton harris emphasized proper protocol was followed the department of health and human services is responsible for responding to those calls we do have a contracted entity that we use to trap those animals in the case of this particular animal procedures were followed however the entity that we contract with could not tell us when they were going to arrive on scene. To determine if an animal is rabid, it needs to be tested for rabies. Colton Harris explains when the city traps an animal, the head of the animal is cut off and sent across the state to Jamaica Plains for testing. But one question remains, where is the raccoon? Captain Pamonte says the Department of Public Works retrieved the raccoon around 1.30 that day. The animal's location is unknown. Coakley Rivera saying she will continue to inquire on the incident until the animal is tested. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey.